Hey, friend, Steve here. Hey, Larson. Hey, Larson. Yeah? Let's answer some questions. What do you say? All right, we could do that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, first up, from Jason Lewis. How do you think Vince McMahon feels about the current WWE product and the direction the company has taken? You know, I wonder if he is, to to some degree, uh, sees it as validation because it hasn't been in terms of the stories presented on the ring in sorry on TV a wholesale change. You know, it's like Triple H has taken what was set up before he took over and just kind of put his own spin on it for the most part. You know, there has there wasn't like a, a huge reset the day he took over. And they and he didn't say, all right, all these stories that were going on, pfft, not doing them. We're doing my stories now. It's not what it was. Do you think so? In your mind, you don't think he cares about the little Vincisms, the names, the people he was that that he released oh, and I'm then sure Triple H brought does. back. I'm just saying. I'm sure at the same point, maybe he sees, oh well, Paul decided to continue doing a lot of stuff I was doing, so I must be doing something right. You know? Maybe I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I think I, I think that, yeah, trying to get into Vince McMahon's head, I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know if you would consider because there clearly have been changes. I know we, I know what oh, you yeah. mean. It's not like he he came in and, you know, he, you know, vacated all the Russo titles. When he came into WCW and, yeah, vacated all the titles and all this But stuff. I don't know if that's I, – I mean, God, I don't know if that was ever <laughs> – I don't know if that was ever a realistic option. Because, oh, it shouldn't be because it was, it was a terrible idea when Vince Russo did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much most of the shit he did in WCW is terrible. Um, man, yeah, I don't know. I, I really, I, 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 so here's, here's my thoughts on it. I think probably, I mean, and this isn't too far removed from what you're saying. So I'm trying to view this like in terms of succession. If Kendall took over, took over, mm-hmm. took over, right? And mm-hmm. and Logan Roy had to sit back and watch Kendall succeed. Mm-hmm. I would think that maybe in a different way it's validating because Tr- Vince is thinking, well, if anybody's going to get it right, it's going to be this guy. Like he's he's got to be resigned to the fact that okay, it's not me. I understand that, and this is just how it shakes out. I lost this one, mm-hmm. but at least it's my guy that I groomed to be in this position. I mean, Triple H has basically said as much that he was, you know, that Vince had said, hey, this is going to be yours now. Um, Mm -hmm. And who knows how much of that Triple H said. I mean, I'm not going to accuse Triple H of lying. You better not. Don't be trash. Um, But it wouldn't shock me if Vince was like, hey, you know, make it your thing. Don't do Mm -hmm. it my way. Do it your way. Because Vince is very much, I think, into like, hey, carve your own path. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, that's what... Triple H said, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, so I don't know. I, I would think that Vince would probably be sad if the product started to tank in the ratings. I would mm-hmm. think that he could probably find some way to take credit for it doing well under Triple H. Yeah. Because that was his guy for like years now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I would think that Vince is probably happy with it. He probably legitimately misses it, though. I would, I would think, think so. that given how much he was in the, the DNA of it, like he mm. was just enmeshed with WWE as my cat snores really loudly. Cat, huh? Yeah. Well, you heard her bark earlier during the show. Yeah, cat's bark, yeah. Um, I would think that it, he probably really misses it. So he probably, maybe he watches yeah. it and he's like, oh, man, I miss being there. Oh yeah, but you know, at some point you just got to resign yourself to hey, you can't you can't be there, so you just you know do it. I don't know what the fuck he does during his day. What do you, what do you think he does during more his time day? at the gym? He just works out six hours a day, maybe. You think so? Yeah. But what does he do for the other? I mean, he 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 works out six hours a day. He sleeps four hours a day. What does he do with the other eighteen hours, hours a day? What's my math? <laughs> Oops. Well, six plus four is ten. There's not twenty eight hours in a day. Okay, never I mind. Mean, then this might want that to be the yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kota Ibushi's day has twenty eight hours. I think twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Goes to bed an hour later every day. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's, he's got something else he's working on. Some other business venture. You think so? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. E Fed could be. What if there's like a Twitch channel out there with no face cam and no voice, and it's an E Fed, and it's actually Vince. 
That'd be something else. <laughs> but like every week he does rematches. He puts some, yeah, it just exactly. as poorly. Same matches yeah. every time. Yeah. Uh, B man here asks: Out of the four pillars of AEW, who would you rank? Uh, how would you rank? Sorry, their current runs. So MGF is one. Yeah, number one. He just got like millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah, of, of the four pillars, mm-hmm. as described by AEW, I mean, he, he's had the best run so far. After that, I guess I would say Darby. I. Uh, why Darby and not I, Sammy Guevara? Well, I think if you'd asked this six months ago, Darby would have been a clear number two. Because I think he still has the longest TNT title reign. Darby does. Oh, does he really? He has most defenses. Well, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Um, he's always involved in, 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 in something. I would, go, I would go MJF, Darby, Sammy, and, and, and uh, Jungle Boy right now. I think a case. I, like, I'm partial to Darby, and I think that he's done more interesting work. But I think a case could be made for Sammy at number two. But yeah, otherwise, otherwise, yeah. And then Jungle Boy, obviously four. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maxim, asks, Maxim, what other mainstream songs would you like to see used as wrestler's theme, and who would be the wrestler using it? What's one mainstream song you would pair with one wrestler? Jesus Christ, I don't know any mainstream songs. Not you don't know any days. mainstream songs? Not now. I think no. the idea is not wrestler wrestler themes. You know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, no. Well, no, I'm saying like of today, like what's on the charts right now. Oh, yeah, I don't know either. But <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Um, shit, I don't know, man. A uh, mainstream song. Um, okay, uh, I would give uh, Stone Temple Pilot's sex type thing to uh, Karrion Cross. All right. Just throwing that out there. It's got the sex magic okay. thing going for him. Um, just give me, just give me another song. Just give me a song. Paradise I'll, 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 City. Paradise City. Okay. Yeah, man, that's a good one. That'd fit for a lot of people. Uh, uh, after after Jungle Boy, uh, gets to this feud with Christian, give him a little bit more of an edge. Okay, give him Paradise City. It'd be uh, Hangman's theme is so great, but how cool would he I be know. with some Guns and Roses? That could be that'd cool. be pretty neat. Yeah. Sweet Child of Mine plays, and then fucking Hangman comes out. That opening. Yeah, not Sweet Child of Mine. That song's too overplayed. Paradise City isn't. No, Paradise City is a way better song. <laughs> it, it, is. It, it is. It is. It mitigates the uh, the overplayedness of it. Yeah, like I can listen to Paradise City over and over, and I wouldn't get bored of it. <laughs> I hear I hear a Sweet Child of Mine come on the radio now. I change the station. No, you do. I oh, do. I love I that do. opening. That's so. Great. Ryan Rubik's Cube says, "Wanted dead or alive? No, do." Uh, Blaze of Glory. Oh, from Young Guns too. That's a good one. That's a good one. And that's what it should be. That's a really good one. Give him that one. Oh, California Love for Hobbs. Oh, that'd be tight. That'd be great. <laughs> that'd <laughs> that'd be, great. be sick. I like that. That's good. Yeah, he's from Cali. We, it's, it was crazy. I was looking through some old uh, videos the other day uh, of shows that we went to, and uh, and yeah, Th- uh, one of Thatcher's Thatcher's first run in Supreme Pro Wrestling here in Sacramento. I I, mm-hmm. I was like I was like itching through it. And there was like a lumberjack match, and I was like huh, Thatcher sighting right there. Thatcher. Look at that. We were there at a Thatcher at an early Thatcher match, and Hobbs was at another one. I think mm-hmm. when he was mm-hmm. like a cruiserweight. Uh, let's see here. Uh, um. Oh, this is an easy one. Nikhil says, "What's your favorite Antonio Inoki moment?" Oh, it's the match against the uh, great Antonio. Agreed. Yeah. Although that that video clip going around of of him just slapping people repeatedly. And oh, him versus Spider Man when Spider Man crashed. Oh yeah, that through. was great yeah, too. That was good. Yeah. That was pretty solid. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sean Chan says, "Is it too soon to reveal the White Rabbit?" No, because I think if you if you stretch it too long, you run the risk of like losing momentum with the story. I think right now you got, you got a, a good momentum going behind you for this angle. And if you drag it out too long, people are like, oh, I don't really care at this point. It's obvious. It's, it's Bray. Just give us Bray already. So I think there's a way you could do it. You could stretch it out a bit longer. Uh, if like it starts sort of infecting the programming to a greater degree every week until it reaches like critical mass and like he has to show up. 
And I don't know how I don't know if you can even effectively do that the way they produce their television. And I don't even really know what I'm talking about. But I think if there is if there is some sort of way that you could sort of build and build and build until like it's a critical mass moment. Critical mass Mm -hmm. this Saturday. Action Coast Wrestling. Get your tickets at Eventbrite right now. Uh, Let's see here. Eastside Reviews, what are some pay-per-view names that should replace the gimmick shows in WWE? Could be from their own past of show names from WCW or ECW as well. Oh, bring back Super Brawl. Super Brawl? That's good. Guilty as Charged. Oh, all right. I always like that name from ECW. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to do Hardcore Heaven because then you need hardcore matches. Yeah, exactly. I like Guilty as Charged, though. That's cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, let's see here. David Matushek, if Bray Wyatt's revealed to be the White Rabbit, what should his costume look like? Like a Uh, spirit Halloween, like, you know, horny rabbit. (laughs) I don't even know if that's a real thing, but I guarantee that spirit Halloween has something like horny rabbit. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Horny mailman. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Sexy rabbit. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, Tristan A asks which of the following wrestlers do you think will win AEW gold first not Ring of Honor titles so Garcia, Wheeler Yuta Top Flight, Private Party, Lee Moriarty or Jamie Hayter Jamie Hayter she should win that AEW women's title next like she should be the one Tony needs to open up his ears a little bit and be like okay oh, yeah, whoa, people really like right her now. Okay, super over. Get it I done know. because Tony's already losing a bunch of steam. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, dude, it's totally true. Like Paige, oh, let's come on out, everybody, and she just rolls out there with everybody else, like she's on the same line as somebody who hasn't been even signed. Um, Mary Planet Houston says a mishap with Rawgate caught now. Rawgate solid technology. No, but no. he says a mishap with Rawgate causes you to disappear and reappear three years in the future. The other one of you is pissed and expects you back on the podcast ASAP. Also, Enforcer has had a dominant three-year big red reign in your absence, so you need to know enough to dethrone him too. How do you quickly catch up on three years of wrestling as fast as possible? So, which one of us is is gone? Uh, let's 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 go with I. Me, I'm gone. Okay, I'm gone. All right, you're like man. Somehow, the absence of Steve. I think it's because, like, if I'm gone, your competitive edge disappears a little bit. It dulls because you're like, I like Enforcer. So I'm I not going like to bring Enforcer. my A game to this to this stuff because I don't have that burning desire to to, to destroy Steve every time. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's necessary. This, this is this is what I tell you to do. I'd say, Steve, go watch wrestling news now. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. To get you caught up in the last three years. I mean, it wouldn't work, though. That's the thing. But you're trying to sabotage me. You'd watch the first episode of Raw. I was like, no, this makes sense. Yeah, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, it'd be dubious in the first place. Like, why would you? I I, I cover wrestling news now. I know how bad they uh, but, are. But you've been gone for three years. Like, in the, in the, in the, in the, while well, you've been gone, mm-hmm, yeah. they, they were re- like reporting like legitimately on real news now. Yeah. Okay. That's awkward, though. If Enforcer has been like the new second man for all that time, for those three years. And you're like, man, you got to get like back. like when in. Weber was out for almost the entire season. <laughs> no, the Kings I, had the best record, and they put him right back in the starting lineup. Lost chemistry. Like I do all the – yeah, I know. Oh, boy, that pissed me off. I do like all the graphics here. So, like, I come back, and it's still like Roman with both titles, Mox with a title, and it's like – I'd be like, look at the graph. Nothing's changed, Steve. <laughs> yeah, nothing's changed. <laughs> oh, man. Red Dragon asks, what's the most money you've ever spent on wrestling merch? I don't really spend a lot of money on wrestling merchandise. I've I mean, never, I've never like a, bought a championship title. Yeah, I haven't either. Probably just like one of those really expensive, overly priced shirts off WB Shop or something like that. Like thirty five like bucks, like thirty five dollars, <laughs> like thirty five bucks. I, I've had to have spent more than that. I don't know. Uh, okay, it was not wrestling merch, but that drawing that Dexter Loomis did of us—that was fifty, yeah. which is a fucking bargain, by the way. It is a bargain. Yeah, it ain't gonna it be that now. I don't even know if he does customs anymore. Um, I don't know. 
I just, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't think, like, in my, like, tickets don't count. I don't yeah, think tickets that's don't not count. merch. That's an experience, you tickets know? Tickets don't count. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, does anybody else, uh, cameos? 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 I mean, if you consider that merch, what's the most we spent on a cameo? Like, 100 bucks? Have we even spent video that on game? I don't consider that necessarily wrestling. Like wrestling merch, I was like shirts or shirts, titles, toys, like little like figures and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I have not spent. I'm not much of a big spender when it comes to wrestling merch. Mm-mm. I let the so, friendos do that for me. <laughs> we got we got all those titles back there. <laughs> Just friendos give us championship titles. It's kind of fun. Uh, anyways. Oh, wow. Dark Dang Luchy says my Pentagon mask was 400 bucks. Oh, wow. Oh, Maggie says don't buy titles. It's a trap. Yeah, I got, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll buy a new, uh, a new WWE title, the winged Eagle one, but using EV's credit card. Anyways, there that's going to do it for us. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Check out this video right here. Till next time. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Where's this video? It's you don't know. It's not in your room, man. It's no, it's like between it's it's on this screen. Oof. We're not even on it. Oof, we're not man. on a screen anymore. We're, we're just disembodied voices. We're ghosts. Ooh.